good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know if this will ever make it to YouTube, but I have a lot of things to do today. Well, not a lot of things. I have to go to the grocery store. I need to buy lunch. I want to buy a new shirt. I need to call the hairdressers and I want to go to the library. <sighs> and I spent most of the morning sitting on the couch. So none of those things have been done yet. Um, but a lot of those things can be done together. Like I'm going to go to the shops, get something to eat, buy the shirt, go grocery shopping, and then I'm going to go to the library afterwards. I'm so nervous for the hairdresser call though. So, you know, looking forward to that one. Uh, yeah, you can come along with me. I don't know what I'm going to have for lunch, to be honest. I was thinking hot food, but then maybe I just get sushi. I don't know. Here is today's OOTD. I wasn't originally wearing this jumper thing, but I actually think it's going to be colder than I think it is. Also, I got this bag while I was in Perth. Oh my god. It says just one more chapter if I forget to clip that, which I probably will. Um, also, I have to pay with this like gift card that I got. It's like a Visa gift card, and I'm really anxious to do that as well. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Hello, welcome to my car now. I've just realized I think it might rain, which is not good because I have washing on the line. But then my weather app says it's not going to rain, so we're going to stay delusional. Also, I think I'm going to take this sweater thing off. I think I was right, and it's not like hot at all. I didn't see the hair that was sticking up then. I think it's too hot for it, but uh, it's supposed to be 25 today, but it feels, I can't it's, I'm just gonna start then, it feels like 17 right now, <laughs> so I guess we'll have to see. I forgot to get garbage bags, so now I'm doing the walk of shame back into my house. <sighs> Not a garbage bag, a grocery bag to like, you know, get groceries and put them in. Yeah, I forgot a bag. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was like halfway down the driveway. Wow. So I just got back in my car, I went to market shopping, as you saw, I ate some very, very good food. And now I'm heading home to put the ice cream cake in the fridge, and then we're going to go to the library. Also, I bought mini eggs as my snack. Hello! Okay, we are back home. I decided to make a little bit of a pit stop because I am very socially overstimulated. I had to talk to someone, and it was very stressful. Um, now I'm going to quickly grab all the books that I've read this month. I feel like if I'm going to do a stop off at home, I may as well do something while I'm stopped off at home, considering I don't want to feel like I'm falling behind. Also, my phone's about to die. That's also kind of why I had to come home, because I was like, phone dying, not the best thing. Also, I don't know if they have these in other places in the world, but these are like the best thing. Oh yeah, in Australia, Easter stuff comes out right after Christmas. And we love hot cross buns as well. So yeah, these are mini eggs. They're amazing. It just occurred to me how many books that I've read from the library this month and I'm actually so proud of myself because hold on, I've got the stack here now this is how many books that I read this month that I have so that's two four six I read 13 books this month so for six to be from the library that's pretty I'm actually quite proud of myself I'm trying to read from the library more mainly because I have a bit of a spending problem and um, I actually need to save for when university's over but also because you know it's more sustainable and I really like the library I've been going to. Yeah. But yeah, six out of, um, I think I hit 13 by the end of the month. Pretty good. <laughs> I just got the hairdresser. I'm stunned now. Also, I meant to leave at one o'clock and it's 1.13. I called my dad, okay? And I had to make an Instagram post. So that's why we're still sat here. No other reason. I really need to leave soon though. Because like, if I want to get home, have time to rest, and then go pick up my brother then come home, and then go to work. I need to leave soon, but um, still sat here. Also, I really like the shirt I bought. If you didn't, I don't know if I'm gonna voice over it. The reason I didn't like the blue shirt is because it had that, that weird black triangle. It just wasn't the vibe. 
And I also didn't have enough time to like properly shop because I have other stuff to do. Though to be fair, now I'm sat on the couch. So my I've just started a new YouTube video though. Um I do I will go in the next 10 minutes. I, I promise, okay? I I swear I I will, I will. A library trip usually takes me about half an hour, that's what I'm thinking. So if I go now, I should be back before two, but I'm not gonna go now, but I think I'm gonna be back around two fifteen. Okay, so it's 1.35, a little bit later than I thought we were going to leave, but it's okay. Now we're going. Okay, while that was like a full hour break, I feel much better now. Um, we're going to head to the library. Also, it's now super sunny here, so I get what it meant by saying it's going to be 25. I was just judging too early in the day. I was also, I was right, but library trips take half an hour. I think I left at 1.30. Sorry, my music started and it cut the video. It's now 2 o'clock, so. Here's a little library hall. So I got how the king of Elfland learned to hate stories, which I found out you're supposed to read before the stolen air. And I already have the stolen air from the library at home, so I'm going to read this one first, which I think is, it's like this looks kind of like a well it is a storybook so it looks like a storybook because it is one um <laughs> i got ledges and lattes which i've had on reserve for like a month and a half it took forever to get this and then i also have this poison heart i don't remember why i borrowed this i think it's the same author who wrote cinderella's dead and i really like cinderella's dead I read Cinderella is Dead a while ago, but I really did like the author. I think she writes really well. I got this one as well. There's our three books. I already have like 10 library books at home. I might count them when I get home. I feel like I have like 10 or 12. So this isn't healthy. I really need to start reading some library books. Or maybe just some books in general. I haven't read a book in ages. Like I finished The Hunger Games last week. I haven't read since then. Yeah. But well, I mean, 13 books in a month is pretty good. So, do knows. Hello. Welcome to the floor of my bedroom. This is my TBR stack. Um, I'm now going to count how many library books I have. The answer is going to be too many. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> and we're adding three more today. So... Oh, no, I forgot. I started reading Diary Daughter of the Pirate King. So that's 11, and now we're making 14. One could say I have a problem. A lot of these actually need to go back soon, so I, I need to start reading again, or just, you know, return them, whichever one comes first. But also, yeah, as I was saying, I got um Stolen Air from the library the other day. But I think you... Like, release order-wise, you read this one first and then read this one. Also, I found out that the second book was coming out soon. I also didn't know that the series continues. I thought <laughs> the Poker Bear series is over. No, I was in the library and I saw this and I was like, wow, that's Holly Black. I just finished reading her series. I'll go see what this book about. It's literally about the brother. Like, a stolen heir. It's the brother. Yeah, I'm stupid, apparently. <laughs> I have a lot of books here that, like, I really want to read. But I've just been really anxious and therefore not reading. Whenever I get really anxious, I can't read. Because it's just like, it, whenever I read, I don't know why, it gets stuck in my head. Like, I overthink a lot when I read. So if I'm in a bad mood, I don't generally read. And I've been really anxious. Um, oh my gosh, this is bad. 
Hold on. Legends and Lattes and Sweet Jam. I don't even know what Legends and Lattes are about. It just kind of looks like a D&D &D game, which is why I picked it up. <laughs> Alright. Let me show you the full stack. So, as you can see, the only book that I own that I haven't read is The Bone People by Kerry Holm. That's kind of a lie. I also have um, You and Me on Vacation and Book Lovers by Emily Henry that I haven't read. But one is there and the other one is on my bookshelf. So that they got moved for other reasons. Um, yeah, this is the uh, <laughs> this is the stack. So right now I'm reading Daughter of a Pirate King, but I also think I can read the um, the King of Elfham one quite easily. It looks like an easy read, so I might read that next. And then, yeah, there's a lot going on at the bottom of this pile. Um, we're just going to ignore this bit. Um, I'll probably read either Atlanta or The Stolen Air after that. I also kind of want to read A River Enchanted. It's by Rebecca Ross, who wrote the um, Divine Rivals duology. So yeah. Good morning. We have class today. Um, I'm probably only, I actually have two classes. I think I'm only attending one. I'm just not having a good week. And I just... I want to stay home. Also... I'm wearing my shirt that I bought yesterday. I was trying to find a mirror to do a better fit check later, but I'm already running late because I sat and watched a Pokemon Nuzlocke video. Okay, bye. Hey, Kaylee. So I think I might get a parking fine. <laughs> or a warning. I got a warning last time though. Two. So. Many fingers crossed for a warning, but I doubt it. I don't even know what the parking fine is going to be though. <sighs> but I just forgot to turn it on. Because like when you're in the parking lot like right now, there's no reception down here. So I can't turn it on. So I have to wait until you get back up. And then I think I was calling my mum. <laughs> or something. No, I was texting my mum. I got distracted. Yeah, we're going home now. I'm going to pick up my brother. And he's going to the supermarket. Very busy life. 